Halloween. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How much money? <laughs> I've been a book since. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Hello, friends. Today, my guest is Liz, and today we will talk about computer science in America. Before I start speaking, my English is not very good. Sorry for that. Can you speak slowly so that I can understand you, please? I want to ask you a few questions. Can you talk about yourself? Hi, so I'm Liz and I am from the United States. I uh, grew up in Arizona and then I went to college in California and I got a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and a Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics. And now I am pursuing a PhD in Computer Science. Uh, which programming language did you start uh, learning from? Awesome question. So when I was like maybe middle school, high school, I explored like HTML, uh, CSS, so web development, website programming. And then I didn't really take an official computer science course until my first year of uh, college. And so we started with Java and then we did a little bit of C, but I was happy because we did Python and I was able to do Python for the majority, like second half of college. And I really grew to love Python. Um, so I started with Java and then today my go-to is Python and R. And I use R for my data science and bioinformatics research. And so I've learned a lot about R in the last year. And what would you recommend to improve ourselves in this section. So to improve yourselves with programming and programming skills, I would say if you can start online, there's actually some free resources. And I talk about a little, I talk a little bit about that on my YouTube channel, different free coding resources, um, like just going on the internet, free code camp, code academy. Um, and so if you don't have access to get a degree, then you can look online for free coding tutorials and help. And you can choose what programming language you want to start with or you can look up what kind of job you want and then find out which languages they recommend. And so for me, I have had like the teacher student situation for learning programming. Um, but when I have my own uh, challenges, I just Google search and then sometimes I will go on Code Academy or there's also Coursera and then udemy.com. And those ones you can enroll in a course that covers from beginner all the way to advanced of whatever programming language you want to learn. Coursera is good, very good program. In which year do you choose your fields of? So for me and my university, we have until the second semester of our sophomore year of college. And so that gives us three semesters to explore different classes, whether you want to take theater or mechanical engineering or physics, chemistry, computer science. Um, so at the end of your second year is when you decide your major and then you'll continue with an advisor that can make sure that you're taking every course that you need to complete your degree. And then you'll graduate in four years. Usually four years is the traditional degree time in colleges in the United States. Which field did you choose? So I didn't know originally uh, if I wanted to choose math or computer science. And so I started with computer science and then I took a few math courses. And so I was able to do both math and computer science. And so that's what I chose. And I'm really, really fortunate that I did because a lot of things overlapped. I would say to someone that wants to study computer science, you do not have to be amazing at math. So don't let that discourage you if you need to work on math or if math doesn't come easy to you. Um, but I do find that where I want to go with computer science, which is kind of the data science uh, route, the, the ba math background certainly helps with that. But there's a lot of computer science that doesn't use math. Um, and so there's a lot of options for everybody. 
Of are you doing internship? So currently I am not doing an internship. So I do research with my professor at my school and I do weekly follow-ups and meetings and we work on writing research papers. And during my undergrad, I did do a software engineering internship at an aviation company. And so I worked on the software in planes. So that was kind of fun. Um, specifically the TCAS, which stands for Traffic Collision Avoidance Systems. So basically it makes sure that the plane doesn't hit other planes or things in the air um, when it's flying. And so I do have experience with the internships and I'm hopeful to um, probably explore internships in this coming summer or next summer. And what do you plan to do in the future for your profession? What are the advantages of being a master's degree? Awesome. So basically for me, I was super excited about the opportunity to do my PhD and have a full scholarship. So my end goals would be to help other people learn computer science. So whether that's for, um, whether that's making content on my YouTube channel or um, exploring opportunities within my school and outside of my school. And I think too, it would be awesome to have my own business, maybe my own program to teach computer science or to teach coding. Um, and before I do all my own business, it would be awesome to work for a big tech company. So that way I can be exposed to a lot of the people that are in my field that are experts and uh, be able to learn from them. So I'm hoping to get an internship with one of the bigger companies like Google or Microsoft or Apple. Um, and then in terms of your second, the second part of your question was, do I recommend a master's degree um, or how that can help you? And so basically me and a lot of my friends in college we weren't sure if we just wanted to start working or if we wanted to go and do a master's. And so I just wanted to have multiple options. So that's why I applied to grad school. During my internship at the aviation company, I realized that some of the people that were making more money, they actually made significantly more money because they had a master's degree. And so I find that if you're working for a company with lots of employees, it can be helpful to get a master's degree because you will probably be able to make more money. Um, however, if you're working at a smaller company with fewer employees, having the master's degree may not be as advantageous. Um, so you can kind of weigh the pros and the cons and the advantages for yourself. I hope it's translating churches. That's okay. Uh, how are computer science job opportunities opportunities in country? Well, I would say tech and computer science is growing uh, exponentially, especially with this whole last year when everything was, you know, indoors and online. A lot of people had to learn how to use a computer. They had to use Zoom and Teams and everything. Um, and so I would say there's a lot of opportunities for data science, computer science, software engineering. Um, and, and there's a lot of other disciplines too, like artificial intelligence that are growing. Um, so like, for example, self-driving cars, like in Tesla, they use artificial intelligence to operate. And so there's a lot of things to look forward to. And I would say it's definitely growing in the United States. How much salary computer science get in your country? How much to learn computer science or how much money? <laughs> yeah, so basically in the United States for, depending on which state you're in and where you want to go to school, if you do like a traditional four year degree, um, tuition could be anywhere from like $2,000 a semester to $25,000 a semester. We are Turkey. $500. Oh, wow. Yes. That's um, really good. <laughs> uh, $1.9 uh, Turkish lira. So, wow. Okay. What are the advantages 
of being in computer science in Silicon Valley. Yes. Okay. So basically, and I actually have a friend who has a job in Silicon Valley. So um, there's a lot of like tech bases there. There's um, there's definitely like Microsoft and Google has a base there, and, and so there's a lot of opportunities. I would say there's a lot of startups there too. So so I guess one disadvantage would be that Silicon Valley is it's a high cost to live there. Um, and so on the other side of that, it's a very big um, city, like there's lots of people, lots of talent and brains. And so you're surrounded by some of the most brilliant minds. And that's why like a lot of um, startups come out of Silicon Valley. Um, so I would say like the advantage would be networking and like learning from very, very brilliant and skilled uh, individuals. There's just so many brilliant people in Silicon Valley and um, I would definitely think it would be a cool place to intern or work for, for at least a little bit of time. And thank you for answering my questions. I hope we were able to help. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun and uh, I'm excited to see more of your content and uh, everybody should like and comment questions on this video. <laughs> Start a conversation because we all just want to help each other grow and um, learn. And so I'm really, really fortunate to be here today. Do you have uh, holidays and parties? What are they? Okay, yeah, so um, during my, yeah, so usually school starts in August and then we get a Thanksgiving break and Thanksgiving is one of the holidays in America um, during November and so we'll get a week off in November and then our semester will end early December. Halloween? Yes, Sunday. So I don't get any school off, um, but I'm excited for Halloween. Um, and I know when you're younger in elementary school, middle school, um, you'll usually get to dress up and go to school or have like treats in class. And I find some teachers love to do that. Um, even in college, they'll have like a Halloween treat and then others don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, join. Halloween. You go to Halloween. You're going to. What is my costume? What am I going as? So I haven't decided yet what I want to be for Halloween. Um, I'm looking at um, going to different haunted houses with some friends, with my boyfriend, and I might do. Do you know the cartoon Scooby Doo? <laughs> do you know that cartoon? Yes, I know. Yes. So I might do a Scooby-Doo costume. <laughs> um, so I might be one of the girls and then have some of my friends be the other characters. Um, so that could be good. Yeah. Or maybe like just a simple like witch costume, something like that. Maybe Angel. Angel. Angel would be a good one. Yes. Are you understand me? Really? Yes. <laughs> uh, this year, uh, learning, I learning English. Uh, my I level English A2. Your English is very impressive. So be very happy with. Um, I'm understanding pretty much everything. So you're doing great. Can I make you say Turkish words? I can try. <laughs> Abone olur musunuz? Abone absuns. Olur musun? <laughs> Abone abubsuns. <laughs> Abone okay. Olur. Alush. Yes, musunuz. Alush musunuz. Yes, great. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Successful. Woo! How many language? I know English and a little bit of Spanish. Do you know, how many languages do you know? Like two, three, four? Uh, Turkish, one. Gotcha. I live in English. Yeah, awesome, you're just, yeah. <laughs> See, two languages, that's great. But um, English 
words language very important English I learning school English I am 20 years old but no I know uh, learning English yay uh, I'm sorry no yeah. you're doing great it's my department computer science and very important English because uh, I research books everything English and so I have to learn English I want to do masters in America I hope on artificial intelligence that's a really amazing field and that's an awesome goal I really hope you can uh, come to the United States for your masters um, that's wonderful it's hot America a masters <laughs> I think you can do it you've done studying and you've done computer science already so if you get in I think you'll be completely successful you'll get you'll get to do it for sure you'll be fine <laughs> thank you thank you for having me check out the video on my channel soon yeah